Good morning, everybody. Linda Ray, Texas Girls Farm. And I uploaded a short of Shane batting and running the bases and getting home, but I have another video of their whole game to create. But I got the short uploaded, so y'all could see that. Um, the girls, Brooke and Lacey, have a game tonight. So I came down here to the pond again. And I was walking down here, and y'all remember way back when I was cleaning, um, I tried to get all these trees. And if you look on the ground, you can see where the problem is. So remember I tried to get all these trees out of here and couldn't, because I knew they were gonna be a problem. And they are a problem. You can tell by the way that the leaves are and everything, it came out of the banks here and washed that away. Well, we can't have that. So, um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that um, when, and I don't know whether to put the culvert back down there or to put it here. Probably down there. Um, that way, if it overruns the culvert there, it won't flood like it's doing now because it's coming out there also and um portion is coming out right here too so i'm thinking when it's time to put the new culvert in to just go ahead and rent a backhoe small excavator or something for a couple of days and just go all the way up and dig it all out dig it deeper dig it dig it wider on the banks because it's going to have to be widened down here anyway because uh, the culvert I want to put in is you know three foot wide <laughs> y'all can see the the uh, railroad tie is still there isn't that interesting but it was got all the dirt on top of it and uh, as you can see the water is still running but hopefully doing that because I mean look at this it's washing all all this too so maybe um i don't know i can um fill all this up and uh and you can see the trees i don't know if i showed y'all the other day they're down there in the spillway that's them right there right uh well right there uh, yeah they're all in the spillway. So that's what's causing this to back up and go flood over there. I don't know what that's, what's that? Oh, that's a shadow uh, on the water. I was like, what is my camera doing? But that's what's causing it to um, go over the bank over there and the water's going all out through those hollies. But all in all, I mean, I think I have a plan for fixing the uh, Vicky's stuff um, and try to divert that water all the way down where it goes back into the creek. We can see it's going to take cleaning up on her side of the fence line all the way to the creek and making it slope and then putting that black, um, I think it's landscape uh, it's the thicker stuff that they help to do retaining walls and stuff like that and I think I'm probably gonna have to start um, let's see I'll have to start up there at that tree and take it all the way down and there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff on the other side of her fence. But uh, maybe we can use her tractor and take um, her front end loader and her bucket and just scrape as much of it away as possible. But we got the animals taken care of, picked up. As you see, all those fell out of that tree, which the rest of the that fall out of that tree. I wanted that tree cut down because it's just 
scraggly looking and that one it's over in the goat pen I don't know when Mr. Donnie is going to be back but um, you can tell that it, where it washed it didn't only wash from this direction it also washed from this direction too which has caused this but that's not a problem we can fix that but as you can tell it goes down here which I guess it'll always when it rains that hard still if we don't get the plastic up and divert it we'll all still run down here hopefully we can fix that but it's kind of funny that I mean it's hard as a rock down here and look at all the ore the iron ore I mean even some black pieces and that may be from a burn pile but it took my pile that I had stacked up here as you can see and some more vines have fell out of this tree and pushed it all the way over here which is good because then I can burn it right there but look at all of the iron ore that it has washed up and look how full it has made that isn't that, isn't that interesting that it has put that much soil because y'all remember how deep that was right there and it has moved that much soil and you can see it's come here so it needs to be fixed so it doesn't affect the big old tree right here because I don't want to lose it but <laughs> yeah some more vines fell out of this tree there's still some hanging I don't feel like pulling on them today that's how I usually get them down see if they're loosened up a may after I get off camera we'll see but this one right here goes up and then that direction so I doubt I could get that one I might can get this one these two right here we'll see you have to watch out for and come down and hitting your head but I'll get these thrown over here on this pile and throw this mess right here over on this pile but you can see all the smaller branches that have came up and the next thing I want to do and it may be have to wait until I get the excavator to get all those trees that are floated down there in the creek out get them drug out somewhere over there and there's more limbs over there and burn all that mess but yeah I need to set that big pile on fire I ought to do it while it's wet, but I don't know how quick. Junior! Junior! Don't do it! He's going to go up there and try to be mean to Camo. But anyway, still haven't heard anything when the metal guys are going to be here. I, You know, I'm not so worried about the metal getting on the building. I'm worried about the daggum gutters. I'm, I mean, the hill is just continuously washing I mean all that work my sister did uh, is just you know washing away I mean there is some grass and stuff trying to grow up there but it needs to be fixed it needs to be fixed right so yeah now let's just walk over let me get the dogs junior Maggie come let me, I'm going to walk over into the Hollies. Well, I don't even know if I've ever taken y'all into the Hollies. I didn't want to make this a long video. But I don't think I've ever taken y'all. And this is washing. So. And I don't think we're going to get to move as much of that as uh, we thought. I think we're going to have to leave some of it um, and make somewhat of a dam. And I'm going to be very careful that's why one of the dogs come with me we walked down here the other day but there was some trees and debris that had washed up over here but there was grass as you can see growing in this area and then it washed here and there's a little bit of a hole there and you can see how far it washed just the stuff and there's a big hole there that I need to fill up which I'm going to take the dirt that's underneath that and level all this out but this is the no down here's the way we go into the hollies it's a little bit better there's some vines and stuff that need to be picked up come on June 
but you can kind of see where you're walking I mean you can tell look at how it's all it all washed in here the other day crazy I mean just came down through here and uh, there's a bunch of cleanup that needs to happen over here this used to be the prettiest area until all these trees and stuff started falling. A lot of poison ivy over here. So this tree was down already. And where all the logs got to. And I'm going to be real careful through here. Uh, I see poison ivy already. Just make sure I don't touch my shoes or my britches. And all these thorny vines but there's some part of this tree that's down I'm try to be careful because we're crossing over stuff that the little critter slitherins like to be in but look at this is this just not the craziest thing look at that and they're jammed and then the third one's back over here by junior right there and it's jammed so you see how narrow it is so i think if we get can rent an excavator once everything dries up the pond goes down some and get an excavator and get down in there and dig it and wide it up this tree needs to be knocked down anything along the bank that looks like it needs to go like that is going to go so anyway this is our little path that we walk out of here and i had cleaned this up two years ago in here that's why you can actually walk through here but look at the poison ivy poison ivy everywhere i did this is the only pile that i left when i was cleaning because look how big that vine is but i was i cleaned all of these out of the trees now I'm going to have to come back down here and do some more. That excavator the bucket will help with that too. So, but yeah, this is where you can tell on this side how everything came up. And you can see some old pieces of logs and it washed in there. I want all this. All the low-lying branches cut, got up to, you know, head level so you can walk through without getting hit. And just providing a shade area and clean all this side up over here there's a another tree that washed up but you can see all this and i can put all this right here and burn it but that's what's happening today just checking the pond and letting y'all see i mean there is grass grass and clover and uh, I'm going to have to pick all this up right through here, throw it over here as much as I can so I can, when I mow, I can come over here and mow because I like to keep this right here mowed. I just need a tractor, folks. I need a tractor. <laughs> there's some more of those daggum, some of them vines. But I heard something heard a rattling I heard it too junior I don't know where I heard it at and I know the neighbor I know the neighbor does have or there was some uh, snakes over on her property so hopefully they stay over on her property but that was strange a little rattling. We're going to get out of here. Okay. Y'all can see how much the grass is growing up. It needs to be mowed, but it's still too wet. Maybe tomorrow. It's dried up a bunch, but maybe tomorrow I'll get out here and mow. But, uh, if y'all like the content, hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, come on over and subscribe and hit the notification bell. So, every time we upload a video, you'll be notified. And, I'll try to get Shane's longer video made, and then I'll video the girls tonight at their game. Y'all have a good one. They're good dogs. Even though they're both not mine.
Y'all have a good one. Got two of them out. And cleaned up. Can't get that big right there. Which I thought that one would come. Alright. See y'all later.